When billions of children back to school in America, a deadly school bus accident making headlines tonight. It happened in Wisconsin. More than a dozen students hurt in a devastating collision. Tonight here, the dramatic video, the school bus crash tests, buses put to the test. How safe are they? Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis tonight. On this country road in Wisconsin, a school bus full of high school kids in a collision with a car, killing one person and injuring 13 students. A lot of the kids were very upset. New concerns tonight from parents and critics questioning just how safe are our kids in school buses. In most states, seatbelts aren't required. Safety experts say buses are inherently safer for kids. They are 50 times more likely to get to school safely than if they were driving themselves or riding with friends. The National Transportation Safety Board looked at two fatal sign impact collisions in 2012 and found seatbelts add a measure of safety. This chilling animation shows a child wearing a seatbelt and one not wearing a seatbelt. So why aren't seatbelts in every school bus? Could it be the cost? As much as $7,000 per bus, saving two lives a year. Is this what this really comes down to? It's too expensive? Yes, there would be an added cost, but if all school districts bought school buses with belts, those costs would go down over time. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration says seat belts can hinder evacuations during electrical bus fires like this one. But in the event of a rollover or side impact, seat belts could prevent this. School buses are designed to be safer than cars. The seats are closely spaced together. The seat backs are high and padded, but many parents would still like to see those seat belts installed. David. Yeah, there has been a debate over these seat belts for Long years. Time. All right, Lindsay Davis tonight. Thank you.